Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Technomosity, dedicated to providing you with information on technology. My name is JP, and today we'll be talking about what technology is. Now when you think about it, technology is actually a very broad term. Scholars and writings throughout time have offered a wide variety of definitions on technology, ranging from references to physical objects to being more of a concept. Technology itself has been around since the dawn of man, and some of the earliest civilizations have relied on technology for various purposes, including hunting animals, creating fire, and building structures such as homes. Early technologies, including those made during the Paleolithic era, such as spears, bows and arrows, and fire, were made using materials such as stone and natural fibers. These materials would change over time to include the use of steel during the Industrial Revolution and silicon during the Digital Revolution. Some examples of great technology throughout history include the printing press, the wheel, the telephone, and the steam engine, just to name a very select, yet nonetheless very significant few. The term technology first originated in the early 1600s as the Greek term technologia, a combination of the words techni, that is, art, skill, craft, or cunning of hand, and logia, meaning subject matter, or study of a certain subject. Although use of the term was largely uncommon up until the 20th century, early definitions of technology refer to it as either technical education or, as was the case during the Victorian era of the 19th century, the description or study of the useful arts, a term used to differentiate itself from the performing and fine arts, which were used more for the sake of personal expression rather than for more practical uses. The term's meaning began to change around the early 20th century thanks to the impact of the Second Industrial Revolution, as social scientists began to refer to technology as the study of the industrial industrial arts or the industrial arts themselves. In 1937, American sociologist Reed Bain wrote that technology includes all tools, machines, utensils, weapons, instruments, housing, clothing, communicating, and transporting devices and the skills by which we produce and use them. A definition still pretty commonly agreed upon among scholars today. Scientists and engineers generally define technology as applied science, that is, using previously obtained scientific knowledge and applying practical solutions via technology or inventions, rather than just simply the things that people make and use. Perhaps the best way to describe technology is the creative application of techniques, skills, methods, processes, or the like used in the production of goods and services or the accomplishment of objectives. Use of certain technologies have been both praised and criticized by many. Some of the positives include having a vast amount of information more easily available and accessible to the public than ever before, as is the case with information technology, such as smartphones, laptops, and desktops allowing people to connect with others on a global scale via the World Wide Web and share information such as text, images, and videos. Other pros include advancements in health and medical research, including the ability to develop new drugs for treating various ailments of varying magnitudes. This has also provided medical practitioners with the ability to enter and access patient information electronically, thus saving both time and money as opposed to using more physical resources such as paper. However, concerns have risen over the security of such information, including potential hacks or breaches to individual or company data. Other concerns include whether the use of technology actually improves the human condition or worsens it. In the case of information technology, these include potential physical repercussions, such as vision problems, hearing loss, and neck strain, as well as psychological ones including narcissism, yearnings for instant gratification, and even depression. Controversies have stirred up over the use of industrial technology and the damaging effects it might have on the environment, including deforestation, pollution, and the often debated climate change. Regardless of whatever angle you look at it from, it is the responsibility of the individual and or the group to use technology in a way that is safe, effective, and beneficial to the needs of themselves and their fellow man in creating a better future for everyone and everything. And that does it for this video. Hit that like button if you liked it, and the subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest from Technomosity. And hit that bell icon to stay notified of any future videos that Technomosity provides. Share this video and Technomosity with others you think may like or benefit from the content provided. Also leave a comment or message of what you thought of the video and any suggestions you may have for future content. That's it for now and see y'all next time.